on target. Almost there. Stay on target. They're right behind Almost me. Almost there. What? Hello and welcome to this edition of Yakima on Target. I'm your host Sean Davido and today I'm here with Maria Rodriguez from the Yakima Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for, for inviting us. And today we're going to talk about Cinco de Mayo and the celebration coming up. Can you explain just a little bit about what Cinco de Mayo is and why we celebrate it? Of course. Uh, well, not to be confused with Mexican Independence Day, which is in September. Right. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is more of a smaller battle that happened in Puebla in 1862 where ill-equipped farmers uh, or community residents, you know, stood up to the French army army and actually beat them during that battle. Later on, the, you know, the French came back and they overall, uh, they did take over. However, it just shows a community coming together and fighting for what they believed was, you know, true to be. Uh, why we celebrate it now is, you know, to continue to grow our group, our youth and our culture here in, in Yakima. And as to we bring that community. Exactly, that community bring that feeling. community feeling together. It's a family event, you right. know, it's something to celebrate. Yes, it doesn't have the big meaning like uh, Independence Day, but it doesn't have to. It's right. a, a time where we all come together to celebrate, to enjoy the weather, enjoy the food, the entertainment, and the different things that are going to be happening. How long has the celebration been going on? This is our 18th year since 2001. So we have 18 years under our belt, and every year we try to work out all the kinks that are in there and try to make it better and bigger every year. So what are some of the new things? What can people expect this year? Well, this year for sure we have uh, new sponsors. So right. we'd like to thank you know Yakima Federal Savings and Loan that they came through. We have Central Washington University, Giza Credit Union, and Xochimilco restaurants as well. So that shows community from different aspects. Right. Um, so that's what we want to showcase. All of our sponsors, all of the people that are part of it, the volunteers, that takes up a lot of a lot of work to make this happen. Right. Now, some of the events that happen, you have a pageant and the parade, right? Correct. We have a parade, a horseman parade and show. So they'll be dancing horses right. for all those equestrian that's one of the people. Uh, of yes, of course. <laughs> they are beautiful horses. We have Great prices that come from Mexico this year, so wonderful. they're they're wonderful prices. Great parade. We'll have the um, the Boy Scouts as well doing the color guard in the morning on Saturday when we kick off the the, the event. Of course, uh, we have a little bit of everything for everybody to be a part of. Right. Now, what does it take to put something on like this on? What does it take? A <laughs> lot of planning. It uh, takes a lot of planning, a lot of volunteers to make this happen. And again, all of our meetings are open to the public. We welcome new ideas. We can't always do it all. And so there's always, well, why don't you try this? And we welcome you know, those members to come in and say, I want to take care of it. Let me do this part. And so, you know, like we have the pageants, we have a volunteer that takes care of the young ladies. You know, this is a scholarship for them to continue right. their education. So right. it's a great opportunity to teach them about leadership. We have volunteers that do the dances, you know, the elementary, the middle school. These are all volunteers that say, I want to do this piece. And that's what we like, you know, because we want to grow that community, show our young uh, kids that this is something for you. You know, this is you and this is our culture and let's share it with everybody. And this happens in downtown Yakima. They shut down Yakima Avenue. Yes, we do. We shut down 1st Street to 3rd Street on Yakima Avenue and the parking lot behind the Olive Garden as well. So all of that area is closed for uh, community members and visitors. You know, every year we hear tourists coming from further and further away, it right. seems like. We got Seattle people. We got Olympia people. We get Portland, uh, you know, Idaho. I mean, right. people that are here from California. So it's getting the word out and people are coming. How many people do you expect? It's a, it's a pretty substantial event, right? It is. It is a, a very big event. It brings a lot of people over the two days. That we bring about 20,000 right. plus yeah. in members and tourists and community. You know, it's, it's kind of the kickoff of the summer, really. Right. Hopefully we'll have good weather this year. And yeah. based on what we're feeling now, it might be. Yes, it looked it looked wonderful today. So, <laughs> so far, um, let's talk about time frames. When when can people go out? When, how long does it last? What time does it start of on course. Saturday? Yes, it starts on Saturday. We'll be doing all the setup uh, Saturday morning, right. uh, but the event kicks off at ten with okay. the color guard with the Boy Scouts. We'll be there. Uh, we'll kick off some elementary dancers. So we'll be having that schedule out by tomorrow. Hopefully, right. it'll be up on our website and our right. Facebook page. So please stay tuned for that, and we'll send it out to the media to be posted. Okay, and we're sharing that information. Of course. On, on our Wonderful. screen right now. Wonderful. Thank you. you. Yes, and that from 10 to 9 on Saturday and from 10 to 7 on Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. What else do we need to talk about? There's a lot of stuff going on. People can experience great food, great Of course. Great There's culture. always all sorts of tacos. Not every 
person that sells them, it has them exactly the same, so there's a little bit of their own flavor to each. So please come and try the food that we have. We have the beer garden this year uh, for those that are 21 and older, of right. course. We will be selling uh, your typical Mexican beers. We'll have some margaritas as well. And uh, the new thing is micheladas. Mm -hmm. So that'll be new. So okay. if you're all into that, please come in and support us and support the event and the community that we live in. Come listen to the bands. There lots are some great bands. Stuff, oh, lots yes. of family stuff, lots of dancing. We I'm have sure. a lot of uh, youth activities. Yeah. We have a lot of different vendors that are youth related, so we're excited about it. Okay. I think that covers it. I hope so. Thank if you. anything else, always you're free to welcome the chamber, call the chamber, and we'll give you more information. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Yakima on Target. For more information about Yakima's Cinco de Mayo Festival, visit yakimahispanicchamber.com slash cinco dash de dash mayo or call 509 Four five three two zero five zero. Stay on target. Almost there. Stay on target. Right behind me. Almost there. What? For information on Yakima on Target or other programs produced at the Yakima Public Affairs Channel, call 509-575-6092.